summertime is exactly when you want to be making ratatouille. Ooh, nice. I mean, all the vegetables are in season. I've got my eggplant, my gorgeous peppers for my CSA. The only problem, it heats up your kitchen. Whoa, are they yellow inside or are they red? Great, thanks, bye. My solution, I just do it on the grill. What's great about a grilled ratatouille is not only do you get the amazing flavors of all the summer vegetables coming together, you also get that char from the grill. So you get the caramelized sugars and the peppers and in the eggplant, the onions get really soft, and then I use raw garlic at the end just to add a little bit of a zing. There are about a million ways to make ratatouille. One school of thought is that you cook each vegetable separately and then you combine them at the end. That way each vegetable is done just to the perfect amount and none of them are mushy. Well, when you grill ratatouille, you get the same result because as the vegetables are grilling, just pull them off the grill when they're done. Then the flavors come together under the vinaigrette. What's unusual about the way I grill these veggies is I didn't use any oil before I put them on the grill. When you oil them up, it tends to get flare-ups, they get a little burnt around the edges before they get soft on the inside. So for the dressing, I could just use regular lemon, but I've got the grill growing, so I might as well just throw my lemon halves on the grill and caramelize them. So not only do you get a tart flavor, you also get a certain amount of sweetness. It's just lovely with the vegetables. By the way, no reamer, just use your tongs like that. It just comes right out. So I'm using three of the lemons here, and then I'm just gonna throw all my other ingredients in. So I have raw minced garlic, which is nice and zingy. I've got some thyme leaves, basil, and then this needs a good amount of salt and pepper. And plenty of olive oil. That is the thing about ratatouille. It's not just about the vegetables, it's about the vegetables and the olive oil. Okay, that definitely doesn't look like enough oil. So that's the thing about this. When I said a lot of oil, I meant a lot of oil. It's gotta be shiny. So I'm gonna let this marinate and I am gonna grill up some bread while the grill is still hot. The thing about ratatouille is that it's mushy. It's supposed to be mushy, that's what you want. But what you also want is a textural contrast. So I'm gonna make crostini, I'm gonna just grill some bread and it'll give me a little crunch. I'm just gonna rub the bread with a little bit of raw garlic. Mm, nice and crunchy. So if you're doing this properly, what's gonna happen is your garlic is gonna start to melt away. So I'm just gonna serve my ratatouille with some, I've got some fresh goat cheese here. Could also use fresh ricotta, would be really nice. And I am just adding a little bit of garnish, some thyme leaves, a little bit of black pepper right on top, some flaky sea salt. And then I'm gonna put the ratatouille right next to it. There, grilled ratatouille at the end of the summer. And I didn't even heat up the kitchen. Although I have to admit, I did kind of heat up the cook. Mm -hmm.